guns and whatnot. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, and welcome to my tower, my home. A tower defense game that is basically uh, extremely vertical. It's kind of interesting though. I won't say that it's done extremely well, but uh, it feels pretty good to play. So we've got a skill point, you spend that on extra experience from kills, as should do. Uh, and then you get a regen thing, you can have an electric discharge from your bullets. Wow, lots of stuff. Great guns. Wow, second wind! Arsenal! Switch between weapons anytime. Hmm, gold is outrageous. Yes, but I'm going to uh, train on the XP first so I can get everything else leveled up. Here you have your uh, different guns and whatnot. There are barricades here to block you from lasers. You can buy new uh, grenades, uh, which are triggered with right click. Left click to shoot. Jump around WASD. I'm going to buy a droid. Companion droid. And there is another one as well that is uh, significantly more costly. You can get sniper guns, flamethrower turrets, advanced sentry guns. Uh, but we'll probably start with just a flamethrower turret. And let's, let's see what we're into here. So, uh, oops, there goes my grenade. <laughs> right click, flamethrower turret. I forget if it was middle click or right click. And, uh, I made a mistake, yes. Quite a mistake, it was. <laughs> so, for as vertical of a game as it is, I don't feel like the character has enough vertical mobility. Look at that. That's a wave down. We got a tango down, we got a tango down, and I did get a, another grenade, so that's nice. We'll skip on to the next wave, control to skip, you can also left shift to increase the speed, which is a, a nice little tip. Eventually you'll stop seeing uh, these little scorpions, or not stop seeing the scorpions, but in addition to these little scorpions, there will be uh, nasties up in the sky. Mm-hmm. Get some health there. And my flamethrower turret was able to take down a scorpion. Wonderfully done. So friends, I'll get into my score breakdown for my tower, my home. It's a relatively good game. Um, maybe, probably a little bit overpriced at $7. Um, I really, really like the sound and the music in this game. However, a lot of things did fall short for me. On the controls, I have a 6 out of 10. Uh, the weapons don't offer much variety and when you do get one <laughs> I generally end up wanting to go back to the default because uh, even though the default is extremely inaccurate the shotguns even worse and the bazooka has like this long reload time and if you don't hit things with it um, yeah there's not a whole lot of splash damage although you do kill things in one hit but still not great um, especially with the jumping you have to jump extremely quickly to get to the top of your tower which just makes things uh, artificially difficult in a way at least that's how I feel about it um, I think you know jump pads are offered and things like that but then you have to give up your turrets and it's definitely uh, a quandary in, in at the very least I did give it an above average score however uh, I do think there are things that need to be looked at and or worked on Fun factor, I've given an 8 out of 10. I really love fucking robot scorpions with rocket launchers on their ass. That's fucking amazing. Um, however, I had to knock a couple points off because the gameplay is just extremely repetitive. Uh, you get the warships, you get the drones, you get the scorpions. Uh, so far, I haven't seen anything else. I'm sure there is, uh, but I've gotten to wave 10 or so and have not noticed any separate enemies. So that does bring things down just a little bit for me. But the game is still extremely difficult. Uh, difficulty, I've given a 10 out of 10. It is extremely good. I like this game a lot, um, especially under the hard setting. That makes things very, very edge of your seat and uh, your stuff will be blown up a lot quicker. Normal setting is just like, okay, you want to chill out, play a game, that's kind of nice. Uh, and I appreciate that they have the different settings in there. Replayability, 6 out of 10. Once again, above average, however I feel like weapon variety, enemy variety, stage variety, things like this fell really, really short. Um, but if you're looking for a game that, you know, you might come back to for 15 minutes every couple weeks, uh, this is probably a decent one for you. At least that's my, uh... My habit, my playing habits for uh, games like this. So, 
Innovation, I've given a 0 out of 10. Um, it basically takes the tower defense thing and makes it vertical. And while the core mechanic is um, something new, I suppose, um, it, it's really not that much different than just protecting your castle or something that, you know, we've seen so many iterations of since... Uh, <laughs> since the early 2000s at least so I'm I'm a bit tired of tower defense that could just be me talking um, it does have some nice aesthetics and things like that but um, really that doesn't factor into the innovation score for me this is the gameplay side however on the aesthetic side I have the graphics at a 6 out of 10 they're extremely nicely done I uh, would have gone for like maybe a pixel style probably would have knocked it up a couple more points uh, just because it would have tapped into that like retro thing if you're having everything one color uh, I think it would help a lot just get through is a uh, is a great example of that so uh, I had to score the graphics just a little bit low not personally in my taste but I still think they are done well once again uh, just some things that need to be looked at and or worked on uh, Music I've given a 7 out of 10. It is a bit too epic for its own good. Uh, I understand my tower, my home, rocket launcher scorpions, and it's super extreme, but um, while I like the battle march style to it, it does feel just a bit too over the top for its own good, so uh, I've knocked a few points off the music and give it in a 7 out of 10. Uh, sound effects, pretty good. I like the sound effects a lot. I mentioned briefly in the review that uh, machine guns, bullets, uh, explosions all sounded really, really good. And yeah, there's not a whole lot to complain about there, except for the fact that, once again, it is just a little bit repetitive with uh, only the certain enemy types, and you'll be seeing the same things a whole lot. Um, so yeah, 7 out of 10 for the sound effects. Story, I've given a 1 out of 10. I get that this is this guy's tower and his home and he is defending it however that's all we get in the way of storyline I would like to uh, have seen at least a little animation or something that kinda made you feel for the guy but as it is you're just like oh he's a Arnold Schwarzenegger clone fighting robot scorpions and uh, that's that's about all there is to it really <laughs> so you don't feel for the guy when he dies you're just like okay start it up again uh, so if you're looking for story this is not the game for you I've given it a 1 out of 10 level design I've given a 0 out of 10 really I just feel uh, it's extremely uninspired you know the story I can kind of get behind uh, but the innovation and the level design are really what castrated this game uh, at least in my eyes New stages, things like that, definitely could have accentuated the enjoyable nature of of this game. As it stands, it's a good game, uh, but there is just not enough polish to it in order for me to be like, yeah, run out and buy it right now. This game has fallen into the below average range, uh, even worse than Where's My Mommy, as a matter of fact, which is disappointing because as a game I do like it more, I do think it's more replayable, it is uh, more difficult and more interesting, however both uh, just kind of feel repetitive and overpriced in my opinion. The final score for My Tower My Home is a 51 out of 100, that is a 2.55 out of 5 stars. Really not impressed by this title. Uh, paying $7, probably not recommended either. I would pay perhaps uh, 3, 4, 5, but anything more than that seems a bit excessive as I don't think you will be pumping as much time into this game. Something like Orcs Must Die, or Plants vs. Zombies, or any of the myriad tower defense games that we've seen in recent years, and I don't feel like this one uh, managed to stand head and shoulders. As a matter of fact, it feels kind of dwarfed by all of those titles, so if you have seven bucks, go buy one of those, um, or wait for a sale on this one if you already have the aforementioned. <sighs> I've been Brandon Dayton. Your humble narrator, this has been My Tower, My Home, and another Dayton Dissects. If you did enjoy this episode, I hope you will like, comment, and or subscribe. And if you do, I will send you a plastic fork in the mail. It's going to be there. Don't worry. And I hope you join us for the next time, friends. So until then, bye-bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye.
see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my 